It's the latest health trend that everybody is talking about, CBD oil. Now, it comes from the cannabis plant, and many believe it can help with everything from anxiety and chronic pain to diabetes, even cancer. We're in the midst of a CBD oil boom with products popping up everywhere. Today, Dr. Sanjay Gupta is here to investigate what exactly is CBD oil, and does it live up to the hype? But first, I asked correspondent Marsha Evacampo to find out how big CBD has truly become. CBD. If you haven't heard of it yet, you probably will soon. The natural herb is taking the health world by storm, with sales of the new supplement expected to grow 700% in the next two years. Wow, you just see great review after great review. I mean, people seem to love this stuff. 4,000 reviews. Four and a half stars. Short for cannabidiol, CBD is a component of the cannabis plant. Yep, cannabis. But unlike marijuana, CBD does not contain any THC, the psychoactive part of the plant, so it doesn't get you high. Over the last few years, CBD has started popping up in everything from gummies to face cream to toothpaste. There are even CBD treats for your pet. So what does it do? Research has been limited, but proponents say CBD has all the benefits of medical marijuana without the intoxicating effects, helping with insomnia, pain management, and anxiety. There's a revolution, a, a whole movement happening now with plant-based wellness, which is our primary interest. Celebrating the power of all plants, which have not been properly represented. And the question everyone asks is, is it legal? Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN's medical correspondent, the chief one, and has reported on the latest research behind CBD. So if you know what, break this down for everybody. I'd like to take your thoughts on what it really is so people can get this into their heads. Well, you think about the cannabis plant, marijuana, it's called cannabis. Uh, it really has lots of different ingredients, but two primary ones. One is THC. That's the stuff that's the recreational drug. It's what gets people high, gives them that euphoria and their CBD, which is cannabidiol, it's, it's uh, something that doesn't cause a psychoactive component. It's believed to be a medicine. It's been used as a medicine in decades past, and it's getting this resurgence, as you just heard. So just to be clear, we've talked about medical marijuana in the past. This is not that, right? CBD oil is being sold all over the place. You, you, you take the plant and you can pull out certain components of it. So you're just, pull, in this case, you're pulling out the CBD component and you're just using that and, and therefore you're not getting all those other effects that people often associate with marijuana. Which is why I think 47 states so far have said we're, right. we're okay with it. How is the medical community using CBD oil? It's, this is fascinating to me. I mean, if you would have asked this question five years ago, it would have basically been crickets. Nobody was really talking about it. <laughs> Within the last five years, uh, you, you had a medication that was a sort of known colloquially as Charlotte's Web. It was for this Heard little girl who had seizures uh, that just could not be treated by all these different medicines she took. Her mom essentially started taking CBD herself in her kitchen sink and giving it to her daughter. That is what was known as Charlotte's Web. Within five years, it's gone from being that idea to now an FDA-approved drug in this country. That, that's fast. That's never really yeah. happened that quickly. The government before. has approved a ver a one CBD oil for one indication. Yes, and this is from the plant. This isn't synthesized in some lab. This is CBD that's actually coming from the plant, from the botanical. So that, that, that's a big deal. Uh, you actually now have something that's been considered illegal at the federal level, also part of an FDA-approved drug. That's, that's, that's what we're dealing with in this country. Can you guys wrap your heads around this? It's, it's, this is part of the disconnect, right? The, the federal government says it's not legal. 47 states say it is. A kids with seizures are being treated. I mean, and that's the FDA why says, yes, we'll approve it. Yeah. Uh, but, but still at the federal level, it's illegal. What is starting to gain more traction, I think, really is what's happening with opioids in this country. What they found, uh, Dr. Oz, was that in several states that had approved CBD legislation, they saw their opioid prescriptions start to go down. So that's, that's an area the medical community is really, really focused on. CBD produces so many effects throughout the body based on the fact it can bind to receptors in so many of our different organs, right? Places as far away as the intestinal tract and your arm and your spinal column up, up into your brain. And that's why people say it helps them alleviate pain, right? Maybe help with seizures. It's a pretty serious problem for a lot of folks. 
Anxiety, pretty common problem that we don't want to treat if we don't have to. Even withdrawal from medications, maybe the, even the opiates, as Sanjay mentioned. Okay. But think about that. People think it can do so many things because of the CBD oil that is in there. It's touching so many parts of our body. And I love your thought that we evolved as, yeah. as species because we had access to these natural plants and they understandably can affect us. That's right, and, we, and the, the receptors started to evolve in our body as well. We even started making our own form of CBD in our body. Oh. Uh, but sometimes it's not enough, just like other things aren't enough in our body, and that's why some people seem to get benefit. So the question then becomes, do they work? So their products are CBD oil, which again, you saw the theoretical argument you just made, but these products are popping up everywhere, and some of these are everyday items that you can buy. I have a bunch in front of them. Again, we don't, Sanjay and I don't sell anything in this space, but they're shampoos, they're supplements, they're gummies, they're muscle soothing creams. They're even products with your pets, as you saw from Mara's report. So when you look at this, Sanjay, and you realize as a, as a clinician how complicated CBD could be, yeah. how do you decide which of these might work? Well, you know, you know it's interesting. I'll tell you this, I think, in part uh, from a physician's perspective. First of all, I think that there's a, a legitimate medicine in here. I think we're talking about something that could actually really help people. And I worry a little bit when you start to see products like this that it could minimize the importance of what CBD could do for people because I don't know what these products are. I don't know what's in them. I don't know how much of anything is in them. I don't know if they, they would actually do anything. I mean, this is CBD shampoo. If I could get shampoo like Dr. Oz's, I'd probably <laughs> use it. But you know, other than that, uh, I'm not- I covet your hair, you should yes. know. <laughs> I'm not sure though. I, I, I would have a hard time if somebody came to me and said, hey, should I take this CBD product? As much reporting as I've done on it, I would still have a hard time you know, saying that it's a good so idea. the FDA is in charge, in fact, it's charged by our nation to tell us the answer to that question. What's safe, what's not? Where are they with all these things? They, 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 so this is an illegal substance at the national level. This is- Illegal. A, illegal. At the same time, as, you, as we talked about earlier, the FDA has said, you know what, we think there's enough of a benefit here that we're willing to approve a drug specifically for epilepsy that's based on CBD. Now, part of the reason I wanted to cover this topic is you can buy these products anywhere, really. You can go down to your local you know, store in yeah. 47 out of 50 states, buy it online pretty much anywhere you want, and the government's not gonna come and kick your door down. So whatever they say in the, you know, at, right. at the highest levels, we're still not actually doing anything to stop people from using these, which is a concern to me because it's the wild, wild west. It's completely unregulated. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. And remember to check back often to see what's new.